Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video this is Tariel Sultan. In this video we're going to talk about another exciting crypto technology that allows you to contribute your Wi-Fi network and earn passive cryptocurrency. This little device is called a Deeper Mini by Deeper Network. By connecting this device into your home Wi-Fi system you can turn on your network into something called a decentralized private network short as DPN. Just like VPN in the web 2.0 world but much more exciting. After doing some research, I decided to give it a shot and bought my first device a few weeks ago from Fast Miner and finally received it last week. I'm going to show you exactly how I set up my deeper mini device, the trials and errors I had to go through. My setup process wasn't as smooth as expected, but after learning and researching a whole bunch, I finally got everything to work. Make sure you stick to the end of this video as you won't miss any nuggets I mentioned along the way. Without further ado, guys, Let's get into it. I ordered my Deeper Mini through Fast Miner on September 1st. It took them around 3 weeks to ship out the item, and then it took around 10 to 12 days for its arrival. So in total, I'd say it took around 4 weeks or so. The payment method I used was USDC at the moment. That's the only payment method they accept. So I made it into a tutorial video to show you step by step how I placed my order on Fast Miner with the USDC token. So if you are not familiar with uh, making crypto payments, definitely go check out that video the link is in the description now the package is pretty simple when you open the box the first item you're going to see is deeper mini itself then followed by a cat 7 ethernet cable and a 5 volt USB-C power cable when you first time connect the device with a power cable you're going to see three types of lighting indications the first kind is going to be a fast double red flash this means the miner is booting itself or it's upgrading its firmware, just patiently wait it out. Then it will become slow red light flash. This means the miner is booted and ready to go but not yet connected to the deeper network. The third kind is a steady green light flashing every few seconds. This means the miner is fully functional and it's connected to the network and which also means you did everything correct. Right before we start, I just wanted to make a disclaimer that I am not a Wi-Fi technician. I had a zero background in Wi-Fi, so I really have to just pick up information on the internet and a lot of help from the Discord group. If you have some challenges in your setup, you can drop some comments below or simply join Deeper Network Discord group. The link is in the description. There are a few ways you can set up a Deeper Network device to your current Wi-Fi network. So you really have to look at how your existing setup setup is and choose the best option accordingly. Setup A works really well if you have a modem and Wi-Fi router at home. You are going to connect the deeper device in between the modem and Wi-Fi router. This way all devices connected to this Wi-Fi router will be on a deeper network. Setup B is what my setup is. Basically I have something called all-in-one modem slash router. In order to make this work I have to go buy a new Wi-Fi router from Amazon to create another dedicated network so I have the option to go back to my normal internet or connect to the second router whenever I want to use the deeper network features. If you have an all-in-one and want to go with a setup B, I've made it into another tutorial video to show you step by step how I do the settings on the secondary Wi-Fi router. The link is in the description, make sure you go there and check it out. Setup C is where you're going to use your existing Wi-Fi router's LAN port with the Ethernet cable and connect it to a deeper mini device. Then use another ethernet cable and connect it to your computer. If your computer doesn't have the ethernet port like the old ones do, simply you can buy an adapter. This could be USB-C to ethernet or USB 3.0 to ethernet adapter. Some modern homes would already been wired with the ethernet cable. So in your room, if you see this type of port on the wall, there is a probability you can connect deeper device through this ethernet port. Also remember if you want to use setup C for mining situation you have to keep your computer on 24 7 in order to do the mining feature. Setup A and setup B don't require you to turn on your computer 24 7 so you're all good in that situation.
when you set up everything, the first thing you want to do is you want to open a website browser. What you want to type is 34.34.34.34. That's the first URL will bring you to this dashboard login window. The second URL can get you there is 11.22.33.44. So either one of these URL is going to work. I'm going to stick to the first one. And first time login here, you're going to see three different information. Number one is username. Second one is password. And the third one, this is a series of code. Basically, this is your serial number. When you do the staking DPR token to unlock the mining feature, this is the information we're going to grab. Okay. But for now, we're not going to use it. So the first time login here, the username and the password is going to be admin. As soon as you log in, you want to change your password. I'm going to show you guys how you do it. I already changed my password. I'm going to log in here and click on login. So basically, this is the dashboard. The first thing again you want to do is scroll down. It's underneath administration. There is something called a password. Obviously, you want to enter the old password, which is admin, and you want to reset a new password. Make sure this is nice and secure. Once you do that, you should be all good to go. Now I want to show you guys in and out about this dashboard. First tab is going to be dashboard tab. This is going to show you the global connection, how the device memory and CPU are operating and real time traffic statistics. So in terms of the global connection, you're going to see I have a lot of these green arrows shooting out. This is what we call them tunnels. I have about eight of them. And if I don't like this specific IP address, if I want to switch to a different IP, if I click on it, that's how I'm able to switch the IP address I want to route to. If you see a blue arrow pointing at your location, that simply means you turn on sharing feature and someone is utilizing your network. And now let's come to the system tab. Again, here is a serial number again. And what you want to pay attention to is first time login here, your software version might be lower. It's like 1.1.1 or 1.1.7. The way you can manually update is simply unclick or turn off the auto update feature and there will be a one more button show up that says menu update. Give that a shot. That at the beginning didn't work for me. So basically I reach out to admin on Discord group. They send me their firmware file, ask me to upload it there, which worked for me. So now I'm most up to date and I just turn on my auto update all the time. Every time when there's new firmware update, it will update automatically. And now pay attention to your IP address. If this IP address says 192.1 168. That means you're sharing your private IP address. In that case, since it's private IP address, it will be harder for people to discover you, you might end up having less shared traffic. So if you see any number other than 192, such as 104, 108, that means it's a public IP address. So you're good to go from there. Come to traffic tab. This is how you're able to see the traffic stats. The most useful stats is local traffic, client traffic and server traffic. Local traffic is what I use on a local network. Client traffic is where I route to and I'm using other people's network and server traffic is other people use my network. So you can see here I have about download 9.8 megabytes. This is how much other people use my network in this session. And now everything is locked. So everything is has a history and underneath the DPN feature. If you come to mode, click on this drop down, you're going to see three different options. Option number one is a smart route. This simply means you get to determine where the traffic based on IP or domain is going to route to a different country. If you don't specify your IP or domain, I'll show you guys underneath this tab, then everything will go through your local traffic. So that's what I kind of like. It's called a smart route. Second route is called a full route. Full route is basically means everything under this traffic is going to be tunneled or routed to a different country and you get to decide what that country is going to be. And third one, obviously, this is DPN disable. So if you don't want to use DPN features, simply disable it that way. If I come to tunnel again, how you add tunnel is click on region, pick the region you want to add and simply click the country and click on add. And that's how you are able to add a new region or new country and you are able to switch their IP address. And now I'll come to routing settings. I'm going to show you guys a cool thing about we're going to use Netflix to test it out. So if I come to routing and domain, you're going to see I have a Netflix.com. So basically I typed in Netflix.com underneath domain. In terms of tunnel, I wanted to specifically route to North America. 
and USA. Only Netflix.com is going to route to USA. Other than Netflix.com will remain here in Canada. So let's give it a test. So I'm going to click on Netflix.com. I just signed into my Netflix account. If I scroll down a little bit, you're going to see this section says top 10 in the US today. That means my Netflix is routed to US, but any other traffic is still local. That is how you're able to do domain configuration or IP configuration to determine that specific website or that specific IP address will be routed to a different country. Underneath security, you're going to see web filter dashboard. So this device also comes with many cool features such as ad blocker or tracker blocker. If you want to turn them off individually, just touch on this button. And if you want to turn all of them off, simply disable all filter or enable all of them on. And now on the user configuration, sometimes once you hook up this device, you're going to see certain websites is going to be blocked. In my case, Google Analytics is completely blocked. So what I had to do is really grab their URL, come to domain here. I want to add into this whitelist. The reason they block Google Analytics, which is pretty straightforward, is because it's blocking the trackers, right? That's why I come to user configuration. You are able to add specific domain into the white list. From there, we have something called SSL filter. Basically, you need to manually install these certifications. So that is the feature you could enjoy. I haven't played too much around it, but in the future video, we can definitely touch on it. Now, the last two important points I want to mention is DPR wallet and DPR mining feature. At the beginning, you are not going to see this option at all is simply because number one, you don't have a wallet set up. And number two, most importantly, you haven't staked DPR token to unlock the mining feature. Once you unlock, you're going to see the mining tab here. I made it into this little Google sheet I can show you. You simply need to stake 1000 DPR token in order to place your miner on the chain. That's basically how it works. Once you place it on the chain, your credit score will become zero. That's how you're able to earn credit score. And as a result, the higher your credit score is, between zero to 800 and the higher your daily rewards will be in terms of DPR token, right? As you can see here, today's DPR token is at 0 0.103. That means 1000 token is going to be $103. This will unlock the mining feature of it. In my case, I stake a little bit more. I staked on level two first. I put in 10,000, then I got 200 score. Then later on, I put in another 10,000. So upgrade, jump graded to level three. 300 credit score is going to get me around 19 DPR token a day based on today's price feel that's about $1.98 that doesn't feel like a lot once DPR token price appreciates then even though you're mining $2 now, it doesn't feel like $2, right? Let's say you want to stick a little bit more to 500 credit score, which requires 50,000 tokens. Now you're able to earn about six bucks a day. That's equivalent of 2,300 a year. I have this little calculator. If let's say DPR token go to 0.5, that is how much it's equivalent of, okay? I want to make another video dedicated for mining and staking. Hopefully that will help you guys out in terms of staking your tokens and earn more credits. Last touch on this chart is basically if your daily shared traffic is 10 megabytes and above per day, every two days, you will earn one point in terms of credit score. Every two days, if you share minimum 10 megabytes, so continuously for two days, you will earn one point as you go. So you can see from zero to 800, that might take you a few years to get there unless you stake some. I'm glad they did this. Otherwise, people will manipulate the system, right? People can get up to 800 with some sort of a hack in there. Come to sharing configuration. I have a sharing enabled at the moment, but a bit torn sharing. I want to recommend you guys to disable it because you don't want people to use your network and downloading a whole bunch of torrents and you end up having these letters coming to the mail. Well, I uh, download the mind. 
unpack the data. And then if your sharing traffic is set to zero, that means this is unlimited. By putting zero here, you are removing the limit. And sharing bandwidth limit, I set to unlimited. Because I have a decent internet, I want to set unlimited here. Unless your internet is slower, it has a bandwidth issue, then you can manually punch in a number here. Last but not least, at any time, if you want to change your password, come to administration. Underneath password, you're able to update your password as well as remotely reboot the device. That's pretty much it guys. Remember, this is not the only video. I'm also covering the mining, the staking, and also including how to order. If you don't have one of these devices yet and you want to get on hands with it, I strongly recommend you guys to check out fastminer.io. The link is in the description. Most importantly, I reach out to Fastminer to see if I can get you guys a small little coupon code. Sure enough, and they gave me a little coupon code. So the coupon code is going to be my first name, Tario. So T A R I O. At checkout, when you enter this coupon code, it will get you a small little discount. Hopefully, that will give you guys a little hand and get on one of these devices and play around with it. Start mining some passive crypto income. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and drop some comments. Let me know which part you like the most or let me know what issue you have and I will do my very best to help you out in that case. Don't forget to join Deeper Network Discord group and be aware of a lot of scammers out there. Because of the crypto boom right now, scammers are all over the place, okay? If somebody DM'd you first, admins will never DM you first. If you, somebody reach out to you with admins profile picture and admins name, make sure you be careful. Those are the scammers they're trying to come at you at the weakest spot basically scam you with all your cryptocurrency and if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you do because i have many other videos planned out down the road and all your support is truly appreciated here and my name is Torio sultan and thank you for watching this channel i'll see you guys in the next one cheers